eternity. Now, I want to clarify this like I've clarified the last couple of weeks. There is nothing about your performance in life that gets you to heaven. You are saved by grace through faith, not of works. There is nothing about your performance on earth that gets you to heaven. But your performance on earth does determine your experience in heaven. Where do I get that? Paul spoke to this in 1 Corinthians chapter 9. He says this, Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last. But we do it to get a crown that will last forever. You will get rewards in heaven based upon the urgency with which you spend the time of your lives for God's glory. When I was in college, there was one class that everyone dreaded taking because it was known to be a very difficult class. So from the very first day in that class, I decided I was going to take copious notes. I was going to write down everything the professor said, and I was going to go back to my room right after class and pour over everything the professor said because I knew the class was going to be a difficult one. Well, about the third or fourth class, I noticed the guy sitting beside me didn't even pick up a pencil. In fact, every single day in class, while I'm trying to write everything down, he just sat there with his arms crossed listening to the professor. Well, I decided this guy must be a prodigy. I mean, he must be off the charts brilliant to be able to understand all of this without taking a single note. Well, we had a big exam coming up. And I was walking around on campus one day and I happened to run into the guy who sits next to me in that class, the one who never took notes. So I said, hey, how you doing? I said, what do you think about this exam? Are you getting this stuff in the class? And here's what he said. He said, I don't have a clue what's going on. <laughs> and I said, really? I said, well, are you worried about this exam that we've got in a few days? And he said, no, I'm not worried about that at all. And I said, you're going to have to help me. I don't understand how you can be completely lost in the class and not be worried about the exam coming up. And here's what he said. I'm not worried about the exam because I'm auditing the class. <laughs> See, he wasn't taking the class for a grade like the rest of us were. I thought about that many times because I think there are many Christians out there who feel as though they're auditing life. They run their race as if, every, as if there's not a final exam. They run their race as if they're not going to get a grade. They're running, they're kind of strolling through life because it appears that they don't think there are eternal rewards to be earned and won. Christian, listen, there is a final exam. One day, Christian, you and I will stand before the judgment seat of Christ and we will receive rewards based on those things while we, done while we were in the body, whether they were good or whether they were bad. The final exam is coming that requires us to spend the time of our lives with urgency.